Hi guys, William Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we've got quite a fun one. Uh, a guy in the local Facebook mini club page, uh, the Flincher Mini Owners Club, has reached out to say that his mini isn't running very well. Um, it's a bit hesitant and it just needs a bit of a TLC. So I sent a message back, bring it on down, I'll have a look for you. So um, let's get into it once it arrives. I know you don't love me like you say you do. Uh. All right, can we fire it up? We can see what's uh, what's going down. Don't do that noise again. It's not very tough, but they're not they're not good like. Check the sparks first. It's, a bit, it's running, Daddy. which is a bit lumpy. I reckon it's probably something to do with timing off your leg. Yeah, well. Hello. I'm hoping it's not I'm a going cylinder. That car. Are we going that car? Okay. Um the thing that because it starts and runs, yeah. it gets running a little bit lumpy, but it's not um Ah but see once it's warmed up it's alright. And it ticks over fine and well, I'll do a compression test on it as well. Oh, brilliant. I remove the spark plugs and compile a compression test. Um, the compression test results actually came back pretty good uh, with 10 bar on cylinders 1, 2 and 4 and 9 bar on cylinder 3. So it was down a little bit on cylinder 3 but not too much to right. worry about. Can we fire it up and get it running? Is it always a bit of a peg to start? Not, well, not, sometimes it's alright, sometimes... Uh... Once I'd done this, uh, I was happy that the compression was there. I then went obviously through and cleaned all the spark plugs, reinserted the spark plugs, I checked the gaps as well, um, just to make sure they were correct. Uh, and then turned my attention to the tappets. Your engine does this, so the gap should be. Um, okay. Okay, right. We stick it in gear, first gear, second gear. You want to come out? So, a bit of an interesting one with this car. I tried a few different ways to get that engine to turn over. I firstly started by the conventional way of turning the um, fan that didn't really work it was very very stiff um, I then tried going to gear and rocking it back and forth that didn't seem to work either uh, and then tried to, to get the car off the trailer jack the car up and then rotate the wheel with it in gear and that didn't work either um, so there was a few other issues here with uh, regards to the radiator leaking from the bottom hose so we opted to remove the radiator and turn over the bottom pulley with a spanner 
Uh, it turned over freely with a spanner, but I, I just couldn't turn it by hand. Um, and I I'm, probably should look into the reasons why it's so stiff to turn over. I mean, it runs, it drives and stuff okay, um, but just really difficult to turn that engine over by hand. It has been sat for a long time, um, but there's there's oil in the car. It's, it's you know, as it should be. So, um, unfortunately, it just seems like a bit of a blip there. So the valve clearance is now complete, um, they are now all adjusted to 12 thou and uh, the largest of the gaps is over 80 thou of clearance which it, it is just insane, um, <laughs> there was uh, far too much play in there so hopefully just even just adjusting these uh, clearances will hopefully improve the running of this engine. Okay, right, make my truth. Give it a whirl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's in gear though, so just I think. Is it in gear or neutral? Uh, neutral. Okay. Bugger. The radiator's all back in. Uh, the engine did fire up eventually having to turn the distributor to try and get the timing correct and um, yeah it fired up lovely so um, we put all the radiators back in all new hoses uh, or so the, the hoses back on together and it started to fire up fantastic
quite good here is you've got a nice flat section where you can just test the car out and then you go left of the hill and it gives you a big incline so you can test obviously to see how the um, the car's actually performing under pressure or under load under sort of quite hard load. So the test drive went really, really well. Um, the car's accelerating fantastic. Uh, the only thing we had a slight hiccup with was that top radiator hose popping off, while the clamp's come a little bit loose. So we're gonna put this new clamp on it, and then when we get home, the car wouldn't start. So, the belt's okay. It's all tightened up, so, it could just be something simple like an air or anything like that, but, We'll jump it, make sure it's all starting all right, and then it's just going to be a simple case of just tracing it. It could even just because it's wet. So, right, okay, so the hose clamp's been done. Just wiping down all of the <laughs> leaked fluid. And apparently, this car has never ever been wet since it's been painted. So, uh, I don't want to be the one responsible for it. I did get the hose out. <laughs> I'm not doing it right, so quick test. Ah. Little sad. I think it's just low on battery, and then because of you know, start. <sighs> Come on.
that up. Beautiful interior. Yeah. I'll be too scared to get it dirty though. <laughs> Look at these hands. Bye. Right, that's it, done. The car has now gone home and it's running much better when it starts. So we actually end up cranking it for quite a while to try and get it started as to as originally. And um, it's now running fine. Uh, I did turn it on and off a few times. It's a bit hesitating to start or hesitant to start, but it's gonna go home, put the battery on charge and hopefully that is gonna uh, see a massive improvement. Um, so what have we done today then? We have originally did a compression test because somebody suggested that the um, the cylinders may be down on one of the cylinders. So there were 10 bar across the board apart from the cylinder 3 it had 9 bar and I'm absolutely fine with that. The compression tester I've got has got a red, a green and a red section. Uh, all four pistons were in the green section so fantastic. So next up I worked out the plugs to check the condition of them they were all really really stinking of fuel and wet and black so i cleaned the plugs up and um re put the plugs in i did a quick check to make sure that the car was sparking and obviously it definitely was fueling next up i whipped the rocker cover off and um check the gaps the gaps on this mini was absolutely huge um i've been messing around with minis since i've been 17 i'm now in my 30 I'll be 31 this year, and that is the biggest gap I've ever seen on a mini engine. Uh, it was like 80 thou, so insane. Um, the um, they were adjusting down to 12 thou, and hopefully that was probably the biggest issue with with the engine running. I've adjusted the fueling using a color tune, and I've adjusted the timing using my timing light, and hopefully now it's running better. We've been for a quick drive and it accelerates well. I did a classic uh, test of being in fourth gear, handbrake on, accelerating on the uh, upslope and obviously on a flat or on the flat with a handbrake on, up a hill uh, without the handbrake on. There was no pinking noises, so that again is fantastic. Really, really happy with that. And just overall, it was a great success of doing this job. Um, so, uh, Graham's now gone home. He's gonna quickly wipe the car down because as I say, that car's never been washed. I've never been wet, um, and the top hose, the clip um, came loose. Uh, unfortunately, the clips weren't the best, so we put a new clip on there, and he's going to order up some new clips, um, silicon hoses as well, and hopefully that's going to be spot on going forward. So, yeah, just quite a fun video today, having a little play around with the Mini, and it was fun to get out and drive it as well. So, um, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the content, as always, Please click that thumbs up button, comment down below, and if you can, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. I am going to go cut the grass and um, then probably get some tea on because it's getting late and I've got work in the morning. So um, thank you for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you guys soon.